So Raphael, many patients with MDS are on blood transfusions. How do you determine when a patient needs a blood transfusion? This is a very individualized decision. There's some patients who have a hemoglobin that's high enough they're not having any symptoms, and those patients we wouldn't really consider transfusion for. However, as the hemoglobin falls, it becomes more and more likely that a patient will have some degree of symptomatology. For example, a patient might become increasingly short of breath, they're increasingly fatigued, or may feel like they're just completely wiped out. So for these patients, if their hemoglobin is somewhere in the eight to nine range, we might consider doing a blood transfusion to see if they feel better. Then there are patients whose hemoglobin falls all the way down into the seven range, and these individuals don't have any symptoms. And those patients we might not transfuse until they get particularly low. However, for most of my patients who get below seven, I'm concerned that that really isn't enough hemoglobin to really support all of their organs as adequately as they should, and we go ahead and transfuse those patients even if they aren't having profound symptoms. What I've found is that sometimes you ask a patient if they're feeling tired or having shortness of breath due to anemia, and they don't tell you that they feel anything, but once they get that transfusion, they realize that they did truly not feel as good as they could have, and they feel much better afterwards. So again, it's a very individualized decision that isn't based on one particular hemoglobin value, but takes into account what else is going on with the patient and what kinds of symptoms they're having.